Welcome to a game with one of the most fun transition turns you'll see. I'm picking Omu. Omu is not great right now because of Diablo. You know, lots of tempo, but Diablo is being removed later today. So, you know, this video will still apply. And it's a no Diablo lobby anyway. Now, the awkward thing is that there's also a disconnect in our lobby. Uh, and that changes our play style completely. So, you will see me level way more aggressively because, you know, I take a lot of damage then. And I can face a ghost and be greedy. Um, and, you know, I'll, like I mentioned in previous videos, I was forcing pirates to stream. So, you will see me forcing pirates again. And, uh, well, we'll see how this turns out, right? Um, but yeah, I just level here now in Omo, usually you can just sell double buy, but since our shop is not that great, uh, and because, you know, of the ghost, I'm fine leveling here, uh, going tree on tree. It's not very common, it's mostly a play done with tokens, and without token, you know, you can see it's awkward because I flow to gold, but it's worth it, I find a really decent tier 3 shop. Uh, I'm still on the bottom tree, so if I stay here, uh, and I take some damage here, it's like we face the ghost again, and we do. So now this turn we can just level and it's very clean on Omu, so that's why the tree on tree is nice, this thing you can just level by. Now there's a Salty Looter and Gambler, I can't buy both sadly, like I could buy uh, Salty Looter by Gambler's cell, but it doesn't work if I want to level here, I'm not freezing for it either, I think we just press the button and it's plus one plus one for free that I miss, but it's whatever. Uh, yeah, because of Diablo, like I mentioned, Omu is not great right now in win rate since you get out a lot, his, uh, his hero power, or her, I think Omu is a her, right? Uh, because of her hero power, she is incentivized to level a lot and make greedy plays, and it's just not a great meta, but like I said, in uh, the patch update, I think we're heading back into greedy meta. And there's a Prester, which is a really good dragon, the PvP dragon on this board, but instead I do go for the pirate stuff. Uh, this captain of 4-6 I would usually not take with just one pirate on the board, but again, I was experimenting and seeing how well we can force pirates on higher tiers. So I'm just gonna level here again, um, and you know, we rolled because I wanted a 5 drop instead of the pair onto the dragon taunt. We got kinda punished, the, the shop wasn't great, but the gambler is alright, I guess. We still got a pair on looter, so you know, things are looking okay. Now we're tier 5, we can roll. Uh, we're actually third in the lobby somehow. Uh, and here is a promo drake, I was really thinking about it. I think most of the time it's an okay play because we have this Taragosa, but because there is a ghost in lobby and because I kind of want to try out pirates uh, and force it on tier 5. Like imagine if I roll a Tony and a Hogger here or just a single Tony, it would be so great. I even pick a Bran, which is on the greedier side, but you know, uh, we'll, we'll again see how this goes. And I think you saw the, the thumbnail and know what's going to happen next. Uh, now we have 3 gold left here, you could just buy anything, so I buy a pair on Bran. We can also just roll a bunch, trying to roll and then we can sell this 4 tree and try to replace it with a better card. But because I'm on 35 HP, I'm, I'm fine taking a pair on Brent, you know? Maybe we hit a triple and get rewarded. We're up against another pirate player, however, uh, and we're not doing much, right? Like, I've just been rolling, just been playing kind of tempo, kind of forcing things. And there is Hogger and Peggy in the same shop. You can see my reaction, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> And there is also a Murzont, which with Bran is, you know, pretty decent, it's free. And we're facing a pirate player, so instead of playing Murzont here, uh, I think we just face someone with dragons or something like that. We're just gonna hold it in hand. Plus, the added benefit of maybe sometimes we find a triple Bran next turn with this Murzont and get even more value, you know? Sadly, no Tony yet, we're still third in the lobby, so we can't really face Ghost. I don't know how people are weaker than us, but... You know, we've just been leveling and taking some stuff. We haven't tripled a single thing yet, uh, but here we are. Uh, this guy did have a triple, two triples, and he is just playing like super weird tempo pirates. Nothing great for me to steal with Mirzon, sadly, but I guess we can just easily triple the Salty Looter since he also had a golden one on the board. Um, and yeah, no one is dead yet. There's still that single ghost that we can't face right now. I'm buying pirates mainly for the sake of maybe tripling them from this Mirazon and because the Peggy with Hogger, you know, it's a little bit of stats, it's probably worth it. And we're about to go in the best turn that I've had for a while, so get ready because here is the golden brand and another Mirazon in the shop. And we got rewarded for playing so greedy for so long and leveling and uh, let's pop off, you know. We got three pirates here. We get a triple and apparently we get three Yoho's from our opponent, so sure. Triple into Eliza, perfect. Eliza, Mulligadon, there's a lot of good hits on 6. Uh, and there's a Mulligadon, so we'll take it. Another Mirazond, we didn't triple our looter yet, so it's time to triple that card. Let's go, there's our triple looter, another Yoho. Two more Yoho's, I don't know why this Mirazond likes Yoho so much, but sure. And a second Amalgadon. So in a single turn, we got a Golem Brand, we got like 6 cards for free, 2 triples. Uh, we found, oh, 3 triples, right? Double Amalgadon and Eliza, now all I need to do is try and get these Amalgadons 
fixed. There's no Murlocs in the lobby. We can module it though. So I'm buying this beast as an art tribe and I think I'm buying the mech as well. Uh, it's pretty expensive. It's six gold essentially or like four if you count selling it. Um, but I think it's worth it just to try and get these like perfect straight away. Uh, the first one is perfect. Second one didn't get a shield does have poison though but we like i mentioned we can fix it so it's not the worst thing in the world now there's no seafood slingers and that's going to be the main reason why i might be hesitant leveling because you can level with lookout and seafood slingers and with golden brand and i think that's always a play and just get a board full of amogadons but because of this lobby uh, I, it doesn't really make too much sense to me since you know i could triple as a amogadon but then i have one poison of ice shield instead of you know two potentially and i would have to roll more amogadons i can't discover them easily uh so uh, even without elementals there's no tavern tempest that can generate it for me so it'll just be tough i think staying down is okay we found a module so we have two perfect amogadons that's fine enough i find a second hogger so we can actually go at apm now i wasn't really apm i'm more like a scammy strong board to smash some people uh but our future you know we still need some stats on these guys and i think double hogger and golden hogger obviously would be a great way to do so now small disclaimer again that i want to give is that this video is a great example of how you can hire all how to optimize uh you know your your potential on omu as well but this is specifically in a ghost lobby in a lobby where you know i kind of just want to force pirates and see what happens and where i got rewarded you can also get punished here and just die so Take all of these plays with a grain of salt, they're still decent and good to learn from, but don't just play like this every single game because I don't think your results will be the best. Now because of this golden brand we could consider taking normal bus, like I almost took the scavenger. If I had one more taunt I'd probably take it, but with just two taunts, um, it's questionable I guess. Because of the double hogger mainly I really want to just roll better things. Now I guess we level because I played a swabby here <laughs> I just discounted it by three gold and if I level I also gain two gold from hero power so it just makes sense I guess to level even though on six there's nothing I really want. Hamul is great though one of the the best things to hit because uh, I can't really buy Amalgadons anymore uh, and there is another oh we skipped it that's the one thing I hate about Bran Hamul like you get the, f the best shops first and that shows you your shop that you end on and that's just garbage I mean garbage there's an arm arm is great now I sold my Peggy as you saw earlier uh, when going APM and you might ask yourself wait isn't Peggy necessary with double hooker Yes, but I have no board space. What would you sell for it? Golden Brand is too valuable. I can still scale up a Golden Looter, so every pirate I buy is still plus two plus two anyway, right? Uh, I can't really sell a Hogger for it, obviously. And we still got Arm, so even without Peggy or even without Looter, you can still use Double Hogger just to farm triples, to get a lot of economy, to get stats with this Arm. Look, look at the buffs, it's amazing. So, it is very flexible. There's no, like, set way to play APM. You, you, with Infinite Gold, or with Semi-Infinite Gold, Every pirate is free, I'll say. Um, there's so much you can do. Also, we play Tony trying to golden our hoggers, so we have, you know, Phil APM and we're actually infinite, but he's played Zap for whatever reason against me. I don't know why, and killed my Tony. Uh, luckily, I uh, got my revenge, I killed him, but no golden hogger for me today otherwise you know this game would have been a lot spicier it's still a top four which i don't like i wanted this game to be fast so i'm murdering people quite off uh, quite quite a lot but my opponents are not so because it's dragging on i'm a little bit in panic mode since i'm not actually scaling that well honestly uh since we're not infinite and i'm not you know getting that much stuff tony is out i'm giving up on the idea of going full apm for now uh Mirazon is completely free and gives us money and we got a triple flat tusk we our Mirazon gave us two flat tusks and i guess now there's agam flat tusk hogger if you don't know that composition it's one of the most fun to play it's high apm as well you basically just generate a lot of gold with hoggers you know parts are free and because of flat tusk you get gems for everything that you buy so you generate gems for free and then you have an agam i just play menagerie you just jam the agam and you can play like s up to i don't know infinite gems if you're infinite with your hoggers otherwise just a million gems onto your agam and just scale up your board that way it's amazing i skipped the agam here though i could have considered giving up on the brand for it but i don't know how long the game is still gonna go uh, i already have two selflesses in hand because obviously we're late game i think a golden selfless is good enough and this guy with a stupid golden reborn coiler was able to beat me i'm on one hp we almost died here imagine getting a fourth place this game that feel bad uh, we got our golden selfless uh let's see if we can still get some use of out of golden brand otherwise it has to go it was great for a single swing turn and for all the value that we got with murazons but other than that without murlocs in lobby without lookout 
it's just very underwhelming honestly um, now the double hogger i also kind of have to give up on because i'm not getting damage value again from the pirates right like i have double arm here which is this shitload of stats uh for that you know i'll have to sell something on aborto probably not the brand because you know, the brand does work with the arms so flat tusk still is a lot of stats i do give up on hogger i give up on the whole apm id finally i had double hogger on a board for a while it was great it gave us you know extra tools but i can't keep an 8-8 around if he never triple it or if you were never able to golden at least one of them and actually you know go infinite um, so I'm giving up on the idea instead I'm just gonna play strong shit playing these buffs here uh, playing my gems around and I guess we have a lot of cards that can be removed the brand can still be replaced the flat test technically can be replaced it's pretty weak I could still find an agam now maybe with only a single hugger and you know no brand it's less impressive but it's still a play I'm just gonna end on the Tony here sell the brand play the golden selfless because I don't want to die uh, and I'm pretty sure this way we can murder this guy he has a golden baron though with double a gold and macaw that's something i haven't seen uh, too much and guess what our tony didn't get value it got cleaved so our hogger once again didn't get golden somehow our tony just yeah never ends up working uh, but we're able to kill him it's top two we're up against the dude another beast player everyone is playing beast is lovely uh but with a massive golden reborn coiler was very scammy so we just need stats i think he did have like a maxna or two maxnas but we also have our amalgams we have our divine shields i don't think they'll be too big of an issue the issue will just be that they are incredibly scammy uh, i need to keep track of hand space though that's one thing because i generate so many gems with stuff that i buy i still bought a couple pirates whether that's right or wrong i bought it mainly to generate gems um maybe that wasn't correct uh, but you know i think the gems are still decent since we found an agam and now we can actually turn those gems into a lot of better scaling don't triple as a magnon here that's bad zap is good because he did have baron um now he could play around it there's skill board so we can jam up baron so that way that's it, it's attack value should be higher than other cards on the board and my zap gets no value but at least we can give it a shot i don't really have anything better to play right now i guess we could play baron but the fact that Bar that the uh, i mean zap could just insta win us this game if we are able to snap the the baron is just too great like if if we get first attack here onto baron and we win that'd be amazing uh so let's check his board he opens with ghoul and has a gem baron now he attacked with ghoul first so he ghouled my amalgams which i'm okay with my selfless pops and now i'm able to kill his baron because he attacked first so if we attacked first we kill his ghoul and then we couldn't kill his baron it's just a bunch of flips again uh, and his coiler is so disgusting he still has his max knob but in the end somehow after all the attacks we got a tie um, now we know what he has though and uh, I think he is gonna start playing around the zap now He's probably gonna sell his ghoul uh, or you know, maybe just jam up his baron more so that way our ghoul just dies into max now Anyway, I, f I don't believe in zap anymore high ranked players very often once you their opponent plays a zap know how to play around it properly So you just pay for a turn and I give up on it uh, since we know for a fact that he can easily play around it otherwise, you know keep it but it's still like three more fights or something maybe even more i don't know how many times i need to win i'm just jamming up this flat dust because again stats is very relevant with the spoiler so i want to have as many big units on the board as possible i can now end onto the baron to get more shields and i'll open with a mulligan and that's it so we got a little bit bigger got rid of zap Good thing I did because Zap would have just killed the Max now. Unless he attacks first, then it's a 50-50 to hit Baron twice, but his Goldwyn also has 8 attack. So it would just most of the time not get value. Uh, he's also a Furcom, by the way, so he get, he does get a lot of stats. He does have two poisons, but here come our shields. We're able to divine shield our Malagodon, so his biggest rat pack, just dead. Um, and look at this coiler, 100, 100 pretty much, so <laughs> we did need quite a lot of stats, let's see if this will be enough, but uh, he gets, you know, not the worst, not the worst coiler ever, the ghoul isn't amazing, but he has a Kangors, uh, which resummons the bomb, and he has double buster here, and yeah, it's just too much for me to handle, sadly, I thought I won this game, I really did, it was a great transition, but in the end, it was a bit messy, there were multiple lines that we could take, we played pretty greedy, I think overall, Still a fun game to look at and hopefully this will help you with your mid to late game transitions and your greedy plays. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.